Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cynical, and this is Gems of War. Alright, let's start with an honorable mention. Before we get into the top three weapons you can get for free just by equipping the class and getting 250 victories. Alright, the uh, honorable mention we have here is the Arch Magus class. Uh, so equip that, get 250 victories. And you can get the Reflection of Good. Reflection of Good is the honorable mention. Grant all status effects to an ally, then explode 16 gems of their mana color. So a good mana generator, and it gives all status effects to an ally. So really decent weapon that just came in recently. And um, I would call it an honorable mention because I couldn't leave it out. Uh, but it didn't make it into the top three. Decent weapon. Something like, it's kind of like Mountain Crusher or Essence of Evil. One of those. Uh, put it on top with, um, you know, maybe Titan. And uh, you can explode a bunch of gems and give all positive status effects to an ally. Or all status effects to an ally, I guess. And, um... Yeah, so just equip Arch Magus for 250 victories, and I'll show you how to do that quickly uh, at the end of the video, but this is the honorable mention, Reflection of Good. Alright, for our number three best class weapon that you can get for free with 250 victories, we gotta go to Sentinel, one of the better classes in the game. It's super defensive, it's really good. If you're low level, it's one of the best classes to get to 100 as a low level person. Uh, so another good reason is the weapon. If you equip it and get 250 victories, you get Shield of Urskaya. Give an ally 32 armor, boosted by all enemy attack, then enrage and barrier them. A lot of people use this in Difficulty 12 Explorer with the Roan team. Uh, you cast it a couple times, it gives uh, Roan a bunch of armor, which is what her damage is based on, is how much armor she has. So then she can wipe out the other team in one cast. So decent weapon, really good for like Difficulty 12 Explorer and just wiping out the whole other team quickly. Um, this is going to be my number three uh, best class weapon that you can get for free with 250 victories. Sentinel Shield of Urskaya, number three. Alright, for our number two best class weapon in the game, in my opinion, we move over to Plague Lord. Plague Lord. Customize. Class info. Essence of Evil. So another one kind of like Reflection of Good, but better. So this is the better version of Reflection of Good. Well, actually, Reflection of Good is the worse version of Essence of Evil, because Essence of Evil came out first. But inflict all negative status effects on an enemy. Explode 33 gems of their mana color. So another good uh, mana generation uh, weapon. And it's going to inflict all negative status effects on an enemy. So entangle uh disease um everything you know it's gonna put everything on them so they'll be all tangled up silenced everything so it works really well if you cast it on like their first troop so they're entangled they can't skull damage you they're silenced they can't cast their spell on you um and they're just all messed up and then it also generates mana for you like a mountain crusher so really awesome weapon this is my number two just equip plague lord and go get 250 victories you can get this weapon in like one week it doesn't take that long if you dedicate do your gems of war cardio make part of your gems of war cardio getting these weapons so you i'll show you at the end how to do it you just go into explorer difficulty one you equip the class and you just wipe through them with roan just need 250 victories do that throughout a week do like 30 a day or whatever i guess it would be like 40 a day 35 a day something like that and uh you'll get it that doesn't sound like a lot does it when the battles take 30 seconds a battle or less and you only need to do 30 to 40 battles a, a day uh 30 times 7 is 210 you know 40 times 7 is 280 it's somewhere in the middle there 35 battles a day uh so literally only have to spend like 15 minutes a day and you can get this weapon in a week. 
So that's my number two, Essence of Evil, Plague Lord. All you have to do is equip it and win 250 battles. All right, now for the number one best weapon uh, that you can get from classes, just equipping the class for t getting 250 victories. Um, everybody probably knew what I was going to say for this one, but uh, it is Thief and Skeleton Key. Uh, the gold farming team, the Skeleton Key team, still one of the best teams in the game because you can farm tons of gold while you win, and it still wins at a high rate. And it gives you the most gold uh, per battle of any team. So, of course, the team is Cedric, Egg Thief, Skeleton Key, Greed. Uh, all pretty easy to get except for the Cedric, which the Vault event is this weekend. So go get your Cedric, please. Uh, just grind that Vault as hard as you can. Um, Skeleton Key is my number one class weapon. Uh... Deal 34 damage to the first and last enemies, boosted by my gold. If an enemy dies, gain an extra turn. So you put Cedric on top, he doubles the amount of gold you're allowed to get. Uh, you put Egg Thief in second, she generates all the mana you need for the battle and also gains gold. And also blows up stuff uh, based on how much gold you have. And uh, then the Skeleton Key, it's going to kill everybody in like two shots. And then Greed is going to generate that gold, and he starts Empowered, and you start with a bunch of gold, so you start with a bunch of damage, you start with a bunch of explosion with Egg Thief. You don't even have to do anything with Cedric, you just put him on top. It's a really good team, it can do Difficulty 12 Explore, it can do Dungeons, it can do Pets, it can do PvP, it can do everything, pretty much. So, everything where you're allowed to use whatever you want, pretty much. So, Skeleton Key is my number one class... Uh, weapon that you should go for. Anybody, beginners, anybody can go and get this. Uh, all you have to do is open the class. You open the class with the quest, uh, and then you go, you equip it, so you go into explore. Um, I don't know why that's on level 5. I thought I put it on level 1. Okay, level 1. I'm an explorer on level 1. Here's the team that you would use. Black Manacles, or whatever, as long as it's not a blue or green weapon. Rowan, Leprechaun, the Mirage Queen. Um, if you don't have this exact team for whatever reason, you need to go get it. But just put in the comments and I'll give you uh, something different. You can use like a Firebomb team with Sunbird. Um, you can put Shield of Urskaya here. You can take out the Mirage Queen, put another Leprechaun or a Firebomb or something. Like It doesn't have to be perfect. But see, I have Sun Spear equipped, so if you edit your team, you go to class, and you just equip whatever, like Thief, equip. And then you go in, and you do a battle. And you have to do that 250 times, and you get 250 victories, and that's how you do it. I'm going to go back to Sun Spear, because that's what I'm leveling right now. So I'm constantly doing this. You should be constantly doing this as well. If you're not constantly leveling some class then you're not doing it right. Um, so Sun Spear, where are you? Right there. Equip. See how I don't have it at 100? That's because I'm leveling it right now. I just got Monk to 100. Look at all the ones I have to 100. I should probably make a separate video on this, but Archer 100. Arch Magus 100. Need to go a minute for the... Uh, Monk 100. Orb Weaver 100. Plague Lord 100. Priest 100. Sentinel 100, Thief 100, Titan 100. So get you give you an idea of which ones you should level first. Uh, some of those are correct and some are not. But um, yeah. So I got Sun Spear equipped. That's all you have to do is have it equipped. Go in here. Go to battle. Difficulty one doesn't matter. Just equip it when, uh, why, no matter what you're doing, on everything. If you're doing your dungeons, your adventure board, your events, whatever. As long as you don't need the class to uh, win, like you don't desperately need it just to finish the battles, then um, equip whatever class you need to level. So this is the same thing. You need the weapon, so equip it, get 250 victories. There's one. That's one victory down, you know? One victory down. So now I only need 249 victories. And it keeps track for you. You don't even have to worry about it. At the end of the 250th battle, it'll just pop up. And you'll see it. 
So, you don't need to keep track or anything. That's two. Now I only need 248 battles. Like, see what I mean? If you would dedicate, like, f even just 15 minutes a day to this, you would get it in, like, 10 days or whatever. Because the battles take, like, 30 seconds or less. Like, really, they take, like, 20 seconds. You could probably do three battles in uh, a minute. So, really, you know? If you dedicate 15 minutes a day, you'll probably get it done in a week. And get that weapon. You'll get that skeleton key. You'll get that shield of Urskaya. You'll get that essence of evil. You'll get that reflection of good. You'll get these weapons that you can equip on your, your hero and make your team way better for it. When you can't use Mountain Crusher. When you can't use other weapons. When you need a certain, you know? When you want to tangle somebody up or you want to one-shot or... You want to get all the positive status effects. Or you want to go after gold farming. You want to gold farm. You can get any of these. And you just keep going. Keep doing this over and over and over. Uh, put it into your cardio every day. That you're going to level up. You're going to go after 250 victories. You're going to go after this weapon. You're going to go after the skeleton key. You're going to go after the essence of evil. And that make that part of your cardio every day. And, and dedicate 10 minutes to it every day. 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you want. 5 minutes. Is that too much? That's not too much to ask. You'll get 15 battles done in 5 minutes. And uh, you'll mark off 15 battles. And whatever else you're doing, also equip that class, if you can. You know what I mean? And you'll also be getting victories there. No matter where you are, as long as you have the class equipped, you'll, you'll it'll count towards your victories. So, But yeah, that's all you do. And, uh... It'll count for you, and at the end of the 250th battle, you'll get the weapon. And then you'll have access to these awesome weapons. So once again, number one I said was Skeleton Key. Go to Thief, equip Thief, and get 250 victories. Just however, doesn't matter where or when. Uh, difficulty uh, 1 Explorer is the fastest way. Just dedicate 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day to it. Uh, my number two weapon was Essence of Evil, um, Plague Lord. Uh, equip Plague Lord. Go get those 250 victories. It's easy. Difficulty 1 Explore. Rowan Team or Sunbird Team or whatever team. It doesn't matter. Uh, and number 3 I said was Shield of Urskaya. Because people still use that even at high levels to clear Difficulty 12 Explore. So that's my number 3 best free class weapon. And uh, my honorable mention was Reflection of Good. It's basically Essence of Evil. Except for positive status effects on you instead of negative status effects on them. So yeah, all you have to do is open the class, which is an easy quest, which you should have all the quests open anyway, all the classes open that you can anyway. Don't wait and do that. Do that first if you haven't done that. Open up as many classes as you can. Number two, equip the class and go do whatever battles for a whole week and you'll get an awesome weapon. It's pretty much a weapon that's as good as a legendary or a mythic. And you can equip it on your hero. And now you have a legendary or a mythic just for spending time. It's free. Free class weapon. Free awesome troop. Free weapon. Go get it. Skeleton key. Equip that thief and go get it. Alright. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.